At Silverhatch Racetrack, poor Rory was in the workshop for repairs. Oh, Santa Maria de la Salute! What's all the noise? I am trying to play snakes and the ladders up here! Rory had a bit of a shunt on the track, Mr. Carbretta. Another accident? You should drive more carefully, Okie Koki. I'll be keeping my eyeballs on you. Uh, right. Uh, okay, sir. I've laid out the new safety cones. Oh, and the zebra crossing has been repainted. Fantastic, oh, Marsha. Maybe we go and take a look. What no. is oh, Mamma Mia! Why you no listen, Rory? I told you to drive more carefully. You are driving me up at the ceiling. <laughs> uh, there's just a bit of them. Um, there. So, uh, this track inspection. Very neat markings this side. Now I go check the other side. Oh, now then, don't forget to look both ways before you cross, sir. Oh, grazie, Marcia. Look before you cross, boss, eh? It's a funny, no? No, then we know have the accidents. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mamma mia! That Rory needs to go back to school to learn how to drive! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. We were just taking a look at Rory's new learner driver plates. <laughs> oh, very funny. Please, Big Chris, I don't want to wear learner plates. And I don't need driving lessons. Sorry, son. There's nothing I can do about it. It's Mr Carbretta's orders. Right, you lot, get ready for the test race. No, oh. not you, Rory. Marsh is waiting to put you through your paces up at the farm. Oh! Right, are you ready to start your driving lessons, Rory? Suppose so. First, I want you to drive in and out of the cones. Right. <laughs> oh! Without knocking any over. Oh, start again. Slowly. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to tell Flash about this. No. Oh. oh, where am I? Flash, <laughs> are you there? Oh, oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Rory is having driving lessons up at the farm. I oh, chew my carrots. I've got to see this, Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, Rory. OK, now try a three-point turn so you're facing the other way. And no bumps, so... Yes, I know, I know, I know. To so do it slowly. Oh, ever heard of a racing car doing everything slowly? Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Rory. You better get used to wearing those learner plates. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd better try that again, Rory. And concentrate this time. Hmm. And they're coming down the home straight for the end of the race. And Maxi wins oh, by Maxi a goal! <laughs> Maxi, my bambino. Your driving, it gets better every race now. See, si, see, si, see. Si. I don't have to wear learner plates. Not like some little red racing cars I could mention. <laughs> nice driving, that, Maxi. Great last corner. OK, everyone, take a breather for refueling, and then we'll run another race. I wonder who my number one star is getting along. Hello? Hello? How do you... Marsha? Pushing the right button, here. Marsha, love? Over? Are you there, love? I can hear you, you silly spanner. How was the test race? Champion, we're running another one in a couple of minutes. How's Rory doing? Oh, pretty well, actually. He might be up to taking part in the next race by the look of it. Over and out. Did you just say, oh, I can take part in the next race, Marsha? As long as you remember everything you've learned in your driving lessons and drive carefully. Brilliant! Come on, take off my learner plates. Oh, no. I didn't say anything about taking off your learner plates, Rory. Not until Mr Carbretta says you can, anyway. You mean I've got to wear my learner plates in the race? Oh, oh look. 
It's the schoolboy. <laughs> Have you come to learn how the real cars race, Rory? Huh? I'll soon show you who's the number one star around here, Maxie. Number one learner, more like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rory, remember, I don't want you to have any more accidents. So, in this race, you have to drive very safely and very slowly. Okie dokie. Safely and slowly? That's not real racing. Stand by for the green flag. <laughs> but where's Rory got to? He's stopping at the zebra crossing! What's all that about? Over you go then, Dinky! Oh, remember to stop at the zebra crossing. That's what Marsha said in my driving lessons. Oh, I give up! Nice racing, buddy. Well done, Sherry! You were amazing! You took your time, Rory! <laughs> so would you have done if you had to drive slowly and safely? Just like I asked you to, Rory. And that means you deserve this special Silver Hatch Safe Driving Certificate. <gasps> A special certificate? Oh, wow! But you haven't got one of these, Maxie. Oh, who needs a certificate to prove they're the star car? Huh? At least I don't have to wear learner plates. <laughs> and nor does Rory anymore. Not now he's shown how carefully he can drive. Big Chris, take the learner plates off Rory. Right you are, sir. Brilliant! Just you wait till the next race, Maxie. I'll beat you for sure. Rory, you will never, ever beat me. <laughs> Watch and learn, Rory, and eat rubber. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What happened? Uh, Maxie. I think you better try these on for size, don't you, Mr. Carburetta? Ah, oh, see, big Chris. Stick them on. Me? Me? Well, line the plates. Oh, the shame. The shame. <laughs> Rory spent the rest of the day having fun out on the track. As for Maxie, he was headed back to school for a few driving lessons of his own. It was a hot and sticky day at Silver Hatch. Big Chris thought there might be a storm brewing, but that didn't stop Rory and Cece from playing on the <laughs> racetrack. Race you! Catch me if you can! Come on, Rory! Catch me if you can! Race me! Race you! That's it! Race you! Me too! Better look out! Catch me if you can! Nasty. Big Chris isn't going to be pleased. Huh. It was all Cece's fault, Farmer no, Green. No, I don't want to get involved with your arguments. You'd better get back to the workshop right away, Rory. Go on. Huh. I 
aren't you going to go with him, Cece? No, I don't want to be with Grumpy Rory anymore. I'd rather stay here. What are you doing, Farmer Green? Oh, well, F.B. and I are harvesting the hay. Harvesting? What is that? Oh, the seeds grow into grass, which grows into hay. Then we need to have some sun and rain. And come the harvest time, when the days are long, we're all up bright and early cutting hay. Seeds grow into grass, which grows into hay. Then we need to have some sun and rain. And come the harvest time, when the days are long, we're all up bright and early. We'll roll the bales up early. We're all up bright and early, cutting hay. Oh no! It's starting to rain! Oh! We won't get much harvesting done in this weather, Farmer Green. No, uh, come on. Uh, we'd best get under cover before we all get soaked through. Two from the look of things. Look at the state of you. And where's Cece? We had an argument. Another one? Oh, what did, what did you argue about this time? This. But it was all Cece's fault. Oh, not again, Rory. We can't keep doing this. You're always falling out. Where's Cece now? I don't want her out in this weather. Look at this storm. Ooh. <gasps> Cece should be back by now. No, oh, you should never have left Cece on her own, Rory. For plugger, where's my radio? Hang on. Plugger, come in, plugger. Get round here quick. This is an emergency. CC's in trouble. Over. No need to worry. Plugger sure can hurry. Oh no! This is all my fault. Big Chris, can I come with you, please? You best stay here, son. It's bad enough having one racing car out and about in this weather. Okay. Let's go! Don't you worry, Cece. Help will be here soon. FB won't let us down. Can you go any faster, Blogger? I'm blowing my gasket here. Oh, oh, I can't hang around doing nothing. Mamma mia! I don't care what Big Chris says, I'm going to help Cece! <laughs> Oh, well done, FB. Come on, don't worry, calm down. Calm down, it's going to be all right. Plugger, he'll, he'll have you to be in a blink, love. Worse. 
I'm coming in it. Oh, I'm never going to get out of here. Rory, I am so glad to see you. Didn't I tell you to stay at the workshop? No, I couldn't think, Chris. Not when Cece was in trouble. Well, seeing as you're here, you might as well make yourself useful. Now, when Plugger pulls, we all push. Heave! <laughs> Look at you. You soaked through, Farmer Green. Hey, you fancy coming back to the workshop for a cup of tea and a biscuit? Oh, splendid. Oh, sounds lovely. <laughs> oh, you've caught a chill, Cece. Come on, let's get you warm and dry. As for you, Rory... Don't be cross with him, because... It was my fault he got scratched. Oh... I'm sorry I pushed you, Rory. I won't do it again. That's OK, Cece. It was just a game that got a bit too rough. I tell you what, yeah, you're a couple of scamps, that's for sure. And Rory was naughty for not doing what he was told, but we wouldn't have got you out without him. I'd do anything for my best friend, Big Chris. FB, what you did was very brave. I'm so proud of you. Well done, son. Oh, it was nothing, Farmer Green. Everyone was pleased that Rory and Cece were friends again. The big happy team at Silverhatch was back to normal. What will happen to your harvest, Farmer Green? Oh, don't worry, Cece. We'll wait for a sunny day to finish the job. I think we've all got some cleaning up to do first. <laughs> don't you? Look at the state of you. I've never seen such a messy bunch. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? What, what? What's so funny? What are you laughing at? What, what? What? It was a beautiful day, and all was quiet at Silver Hatch Racetrack. Everyone was relaxing. Hello? Hello? Well, I've just had Mr Carburetta on the telephone, and he thinks that the cars need some exercise for a race later this week. Right, OK. All right, Marcia. Lovely. <laughs> right, you lot look sharp. Come on, up and out of it. It's not an holiday camp. You lot need some exercise. We're going to do some practice laps today. <laughs> right then, I'll see you on the track. Computer on. Scanning racing conditions. Oh, fine weather. Dry track. Uh oh, fuel is low. Rory, have you heard about the practice laps? Yeah, just now. Practice or no practice, I hope I win. I haven't beaten Maxi for ages. I can show you a few tricks that might help. Race you. So, what do you think you need to win? <laughs> Lots of power. <laughs> Power is only one thing. You need skill, too. Wow! Do you think I could make shapes like that? Maybe, but it takes practice. Oh, la, la! My fuel tank is low. I can't run out of fuel out here playing games. Oh, good luck, Rory! Oh, I'll make a hot shape, just like Susan's. That's no good. I, I need somewhere with, with more space. No, oh, there we go. Oh, hello, you two. Where have you been? Sorry, I'm late. Maxie wouldn't let me go till I give him a full body wax. Typical. Oh, call me a nag if you like, but really, if you want something well, done, do it down, yourself. Down, it's the same old story. It's all right. oh. I'll tell you what. Let me and Plugger get the track ready. You take a break. You've oh, earned it, love. All right, then. Well, thank you very much. I, I think I will. Oh, yes. This is so nice. Oh, I forgot my fruit 
juice. <laughs> Come on, Zippy. Beep, beep, beep. Cece's tyre work. Come on, Zippy. We need to have a word with little Miss Cece. Looking forward to the practice lap, Drifter? Feeling lucky? Look! Huh. Are you science? Oh! Hello, Masha! Hello yourself, <gasps> young lady. Look what you've done to my blanket. Oh, me? Uh, but, but... I didn't go near it. Oh, really? I saw but, the heart but, shape but on the Marcia, racetrack. I didn't do it. Cece, if you can't own up when you've done something wrong, that's it. You're banned from the practice today. <gasps> it isn't fair. I wasn't there. I do not know what to do. I'll be alone, all on my own. Who are my friends now? Oh, no. They don't believe. How can it be? I simply don't understand. It wasn't me. Could never be. Something I plan. What happens when your friends let you down? What will become of me? It isn't fair. I wasn't there. I do not know what. To do, I'll be alone, all on my own. Who are my friends now? Oh no! Hey, Drifter, have you seen Marsha? Yes, she gave Cece a big telling off for ruining her picnic. See you later, Rory. Oh, if I say what really happens, Marsha will be angry at me. But it's not fair if Cece gets blamed for something I did. I'll have to tell Marsha. <laughs> um, Marsha, I, I have to tell you something. Oh, look at this mess Cece made. You cars, you know you're not allowed to muck up the grass. Well, that's what As I soon as to... my back's turned, it all goes wrong. Now, what did you want to tell me? Uh, nothing. Bye! <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Oh, no. Cece looks really upset. One, two, three, <laughs> five, go! Go, 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 lads, go on! into the tyres again! Oh, man! Maxi leads at Dinky's corner, followed by Drifter. Rory's bringing up the rear. Come on, Rory, light him up, son! <sighs> like Cece said, it's not just power. It's skill as well. Oh, that was amazing driving. Where did Rory learn that? <laughs> Woohoo! He's taking the lead. He's taking the lead. Oh, oh, oh! Rory's gonna win. Rory's gonna win. Go! Win. I am the winner! 
Rory, what's wrong? Are you okay? Uh, uh, I'm fine, Marsha. I've got to tell you something, though. It was me who ran over your blanket. What's happening here? What's going on? So, I should be out of the race. Will someone tell me what's happening? Oh, Cece, I'm sorry. It's all right, Rory. I forgive you. Forgive him for what? And Why? I oh. should say sorry to you, Cece. Sorry for not believing in you. I, I suppose I'm in big trouble now. Well, you did admit your mistake. And I reckon that that's a mark of a true champion. Ah, well, so, I, uh, let's have another I, lap and you can both I take it. part. I I don't really? No. What's going on? Will somebody please tell me what's happening? I have not got enough. It wasn't easy for Rory to admit he'd actually done something wrong. Anybody? But being honest and owning up are just some of the things that true champions do. No! Right. I'll be over here having a donut then. Mr. Carburetta wanted to spend more time at Silver Hatch Racetrack, so he stayed the night in Rusty. But he liked to get up very early. What time is it? I can't be singing at this time. Is that... Yes. Oh, no. No, no. No, you can't be singing at this time of the morning, man. Bigger crazy. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. Back it in. Oh, dear. And maybe he didn't sleep as well as me, huh? You're up early, sir. Nice. You see, Rusty, there's a lot to do. The cars are testing some new rapeseed fuel from a farmer green today. Oh. Ah, it's a noisy tummy. I need some fuel myself. Breakfast fuel. Early to bed and early to rise. Oh. Gives me a sparkle oh, in my eye. Bang out of all of this, having to kip out here while Mr. Carbre to takes my bed. I hardly slept a wink. And then every time I did nod off, I got woken up by his opera singing. He even sings in his sleep. I know how I'm going to get through the day. Shut up. Ooh, is a back on an exit? Or a nice sort of story more sleep? Sorry, sir. Rory, you are round and about already. Off for a practice lap, no? No, sir. I'm off to help FB at the farm. Well, make sure you don't get mad in your exhaust. And bring me back some um, eggs for my breakfast, eh? Eggs, sir? Uh, right. Will do. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning! What? 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 What's what? going on? Rise and shine, my little bambinos. We've got a busy day. Out onto the track for some practice. Oh, oh. I wonder if Big Chris has left any biscuits around. What? What do we have to do uh, for early? See, I need my beauty sleep. Huh? Where's FB and Thelma Green? Oh. Morning, everyone. Morning, mm. Big Chris. Why did Mr. Cabaretta have to wake us so early? It's practically the middle of the night. Oh, I know. I don't like it any more than you lot. I hope Mr. Cabaretta is only planning on staying for one night. Oh, I need a cup of tea. <laughs> Goodness, you woke us up with your wheelies, Rory. Oh, we overslept. Oh, our cockerel has got a sore throat and can't cock a doodle do to wake Ooh. us up. Now we're all behind with the farm work. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Oh, although I, I was supposed to be getting something for Mr. Carburetta first. Um, oh, now, what was it? Oh, what a lovely morning. Marsha to be Chris. Who said that? Was that you, Marsha? Oh, Where are you? Over. Oh, shit. Oh, it's walkie talkie. Big Chris. Oh, Come hey. in, Big Chris. Hang on, hang on. What are you, are you there, Big Chris? What, what was that, Marsha? Love over. Oh, there you are. Can you get the cars ready to test the new rapeseed fuel, please? Oh, and no tea breaks. Over and out. How, how does she know that? Right, you lot, you heard what she said. Come on, come on, up two, up two. 
Will you look at that? They've all dozed off again. Man, you, you know, that is not a bad idea. Five minutes won't hurt. Mm. <coughs> no time for slacking. It's time to oh get God. cracking. Oh, sleep. 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 Sorry, you lot, but orders are orders. Come on. My axles ache after all that. Yes, it's hard work running a farm. Especially if you overslept. I don't know what we're going to do about waking up tomorrow. Anyway, there's one more job to do. Come on, Rory. So, you filled all the cars with the new rapeseed fuel, uh, Big Chris? Uh-huh, yes. Good. Oh, hang on a minute. Where's Rory? Rory is up at the farm getting eggs for my breakfast, I hope. Oh, right. Well, we'll just have to start the race without him then. Oh, I can't wait to, to see how my bambinos race with the new fuel. Are no you ready, holding back. Cars? Race down the One, track. Two, three, four, five. What the fuel you put in my bambino, Speaker Chris! It sends them to sleep! Listen, you sort this out pronto quick, you understand? Mamma mia! I hope it won't be like this for the rest of my stay this week! He's staying for the whole week? He's staying for the whole week! Oh no! We'll never get any sleep! What's happened to the cars? Did you put the wrong fuel in them? Hey, hey, back off! Back off! It's, it's nothing to do with me, Marshal Love. It's Mr. Carburetta that's the problem. What are you on about? He stayed the night at Silver Hatch and he was singing all night in his sleep. Then he got up at the crack of dawn and woke us all up. But now we're all exhausted, love. Oh, I see. Oh! And if he stays the whole week, it'll be the same story every day. Here's the eggs, Farmer Green. Eggs! Oh, I just remembered what Mr Carburetta asked me to get him. Eggs for his breakfast. You'd better have some then, Rory, as a thank you for helping with the farm. Oh, thanks. How, how are you going to wake up on time to do your work until your cockerel gets better? Search me. I don't know. I'm stumped. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, Big Chris. You're going to have to tell Mr Carburetta it's what? all his fault that the cars are tired out. Oh, she's he, not going to like that. And, 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 and I'm not going to like telling him that. And he won't like that I've told him because he'll know that I've told him and he's not going to like well, that either, they? is he? If you don't tell him, though, you'll all be exhausted for the rest of the week. Hey! Don't wake them up, Rory. Mamma mia. You are driving me up at the ceiling. Why are my cars still gone bye-byes? Come on, tell him. Oh, 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 here goes. Well, actually, Mr Carabretta, sir, it's all your fault. My fault? Yeah, because none of us got a wink of sleep last night with all of your singing and, and then getting up so early. That's why all the cars have nodded off. I never thought of that. But what am I going to do about it for the rest of the week? I always get up early. You always get up early, sir. See, si, Rory. And then I like to sing at the top of my voice. Early to bed and early to rise. Kids well, you're just what FB and Farmer Green eyes. need to wake them up in the morning until their cockerel's better. So why don't you stay at the farm for the rest of the week and you can sing as early as you like. Rory, well that's a Rory. Oh, I nearly forgot. I brought you back some eggs, sir. Uh, oh. Oh. <gasps> I hope you like them scrambled. Time to light them up, guys! <laughs> oh, Rory, you are <laughs> driving me around the corner! Mr Carburetor was looking forward to having proper breakfast for the rest of the week when he stayed with Farmer Green and FB, whilst everyone else at Silver Hatch was looking forward to getting a proper night's sleep. Big Chris and Marsha were both excited 
They were waiting for Loder to arrive with a delivery for Silverhead. Oh, Morning, son. Loder, you're here. Big hellos to you both. I have special delivery for you. Oh, champion. Brilliant. Come on, Volcom. Give us a hand. Oh, hi, Loder. Oh. What have you been up to? I have been having lots of fun on the road, Rory. Last week, I climbed a big mountain, and when I got to the top, I ran out of fuel, so I yodled. Yodel, 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 yodel. <laughs> Surfing looks amazing. Oh, I wish I had a surfboard like Breeze. No, I don't. I wish I had an even better surfboard than Breeze. If only I could get hold of some engine parts to build one that goes really fast. But where from? Hmm. What's Roy we laughing at? <laughs> so when you ran out of fuel, you skied down the mountain? Oh, I wish I'd you, seen that. Oh, look at this. Mm, a box of quick release double overhead camshafts. Oh, Marsh, look at all Marsh, those look, spare look engine look parts. A box I could build a, box a carrot of tastic surfboard with them. Mm. Oh, How can I borrow some? A box some. of quick release double, this, double overhead camshafts. You just chair. won't see them anymore. Oh, Bryce, there's what a, a bargain. a 16-week order placed on these. Alloy. Hubcaps, and what's this? What? My eyes are playing tricks on me, Marsha. He's only gone and got chrome head gaskets. Chrome head gaskets. He's done us proud, Lord. Oh, he's he certainly so has. Brave, so so... Now then, how do you set it up? OK, Rory, time for Loader to hit the highway. Oh, don't go yet, Loader. Please, Rory. Breeze has invited us all down to the beach. Fantastic! Loda, why did you come down to the beach with us? What a good idea, Rory. I have never been to the beach before. Great! <laughs> I'd better just ask if that's OK. Hang on. Yes, right now. Look at all this stuff, man. Hey, Chris. Christmas is Marcia, <laughs> can we oh, take Loda down to the beach? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yes! Can't believe Brilliant! <laughs> So difficult to put a deck chair up. Right, I'll have another go. Come on, let's go to the beach! Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I'll have to try again later. Big Chris, you and I have to go to my office and check the order list for these deliveries. Hmm. Come on. All right, Petal. I can't be long, mine. I want to get some of this lot fitted to the cars. I mean, just look at that. A Mark IV Mossop piston ring. <laughs> you beauty. You and your piston rings. <laughs> Won't be long, Malcolm. Keep an eye on everything for us. Huh? Malcolm, you've got to see this. Mr. Carburetor is disco dancing in the pit lane. Really? <laughs> this is something I've got to see. Oh, that was easy. Now I'll borrow some of these engine parts. <laughs> oh, oh, flash, mustache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, flash, Mr. Carburetor wasn't there. Flash. Here, though. I like it. Oh. Oh. oh, it's no use, Big Chris. The fan belts and the gaskets just aren't here. Nor are the quick release double overhead camshafts or the Moss Up Mark IV piston ring. Do you know anything about this, Moncom? Uh, I didn't see a thing, Big Chris. I was outside trying to see Mr. Carburetor disco dancing, like Flash said. Funnily enough, 
he wasn't there. Flash! <sighs> Motor is in trouble down at the beach. He's stuck in the sand. The beach is no place for a big lorry like Lauder. What was he doing down there? I did ask you both. You were busy inspecting the new delivery and you said, yeah, yeah, whatever, when I asked you if we could take Loder to see Breeze. I'm sorry, Rory. I'm, I'm distracted, though, with all that stuff arriving. Lugger, Lugger, we have an emergency. Come here, son. <laughs> this reminds me of the time I it's was okay, snowed Loder. in. Big Chris and Marsha are coming to help. <laughs> Check out my super surfer! <laughs> oh, I wouldn't stay there stuck in the sand for too long if I was you, Loader. You might have to learn to swim. Mamma mia! Look! The tide's coming in! Oh, no! Help! Helping! Don't panic, Loader. We'll soon have you out of there. Plugger, tore off on Loader. Never fear. Plugger's here. The wheel is in the sand. Easy trouble. You're not wrong, Flash. Your surfboard might just make the difference. <laughs> no bud job. Oh, come on, come on, come on! How'd you work this thing? Oh. Like this. Everyone, push and pull. Up the three. Three. I want a word with you about certain missing engine parts. I was only borrowing them. Oh, I'm really sorry, Big Chris. Don't be too hard on Flash, Big Chris. He did save Loader with his surfboard. Aye. Spot on, Rory. Hey, let's celebrate with a barbecue at my shack. Hey, no, listen up, no silver hatches. It's party time. Fun, fun. had a great time at the Silver Hatch Beach Barbecue, and Flash learned never to take things without asking. I like the beach, and I love my friends. <laughs> Rock on!